Hey guys, Darren here. Fantasy points. Christmas slate week week sixteen. Let's call it main slates on Christmas Eve anyway. So still Christmas. Uh, last week quarterbacks that I shared did pretty good. Burrow had four touchdowns and Fields uh, had a good game, almost a massive game. He was running all over the place. Um, but I'm um, having a hard time with some of my running backs the last few weeks. It's been it's been tough. Kamara busted. Long Miles Sanders didn't even get a carry to the second quarter. So kind of a mess um, with the rest. So we're back at it though, and um, we'll get started. So DraftKings forty receiver. Flex running back and receiver. We'll go to the stacks that I've made. And the first stack I have, I got Geno Smith. Highest total on the slate. Um, I'm pairing it with Metcalf and Font and McKinnon. There's no Tyler Lockett. Um, and Kenneth Walker is iffy to play. So if he's not playing, they're going to be throwing a ton, I would assume, playing catch up. Um, so I like this. Obviously, you can mix and match, you know, different players, but sticking with Geno Smith on this side. And I don't want, if Walker does play, I don't want Walker on the same team with Geno. And stack number two, same game. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get cute. Patrick Mahomes, Mr. Kelsey, and Metcalf. So, um, once again, mix and match receivers if you want. But I'll go with the two studs um, as far as that goes. Looks like Hardman is going to play. I don't know that for sure. Not that it's going to affect Kelsey that much, to be honest with you. But um, it's just an interesting note. I don't mind Mahomes and McKinnon. But I don't think I want Mahomes and... I'm going <laughs> to make fun of me in the chat. I can't say these guys' names. This guy right here. The other running back, <laughs> Isaiah. I can say Isaiah. I'm not going to say Pacheco. And obviously, you don't want the Seahawks defense. So I went 25% on each side. So that's where I'm going there. Um, mass exposure, same type deal, 55. Aren't set in stone, 55, 55, 30. Um, I don't have a preference this week as far as running back and receivers from what I've seen. Um, I, I, thinking about it, I probably lean running back a little bit more just because of the cold weather. And there's snow and cold and all kinds of craziness happening this weekend. So running back might be the way to go now that I'm I'm talking it out. So I might uh, just boost the running backs a little bit more. Uh, let's go to the player settings. Look at some of the players who's popping out. Oh, there's Gino. So Gino tops, one of my guys. He's one of the top guys and for the reasons already explained. Daniel Jones is interesting. I think I'm going to have to play a little bit of uh, Daniel Jones. Minnesota's been pretty bad. Um, it's amazing that they've that game last week was just insane. But the defense has got awful. So um, Jones has a chance. It's a nice price. Um, good luck who to pair him with. <laughs> um, it's a mess over there. Minshew's popping is only 4,800. I don't think I'm going to play him. I've thought about it. You know, I'm not sure he can get. I mean, he runs a tiny bit. It doesn't run much. But he's got really good weapons. And uh, Dallas' defense uh, kind of hurt in the corners and stuff. So I don't hate it. It's a really good price. Ownership um, is enough, guys. Um, and I think moving forward, I think this might be something where we're going to keep that behind paywall. So if you want access, um, to everything, including ownership, you know, need to get a subscription to Fancy Points. Because, like I said, this is all free. Um, but ownership is out. Yeah, I'm doing this video early because it's the holidays. I got a bunch of family stuff going on. Um, anyway, this Dak, Josh, Josh Allen's kind of popping, which is interesting. That total is that total in that game is 40, um, and he's 8,500. So, I. Josh Allen, but that's, you know, Chicago's terrible. But I don't know. 8,500 is a lot. I'm not sure if we can get a ceiling game or not. 
Anyway, so running backs. Surprise, surprise, Derrick Henry, who have actually, who's actually destroyed Houston to a pulp for the last few games. That's that's not anything that nobody doesn't know. Um, I do like, like Dalvin Cook quite a bit, but my running back picks have been terrible lately. Well, actually, two weeks ago, I was good with Miles Sanders and Derrick Henry. Last week, I was horrible. Um, but Cook's good value. McKinnon, obviously, he's, he's just on fire right now. Really good price. Ownership showing it. I did see um, Henry ownership. Uh, it's around 28. I'll update our ownerships on Friday for the our site. Uh, Miles Sanders popping. I think after what happened last week, coach came out and said he made a mistake by not giving me a carry till the second quarter. Still doesn't make any sense. I think they're really trying to get just a secure um, Jalen Hurts getting MVP. And so that's why he just, he had all the rushing touchdowns <laughs> and Sanders didn't do anything. Um, Isaiah actually, actually showing up decent value also. So Seattle is pretty bad. Um, Elliot scored a touchdown in seven straight games, and he's had two games where he's had two uh, rushing touchdowns in. So he's a pretty, pretty good play, too. Uh, receivers value. Shahid, if you go look at the logs, he's been playing really well. Um, pretty sure the over under in that game is. 30 was it 31 if well, 31 and a half it's supposed to be like the lowest in like total in 33 years or something crazy like that so weather's supposed to be god awful um but yeah you look at the logs he's been he's been getting uh getting work he's been getting points so i'm assuming he you know he's gonna pop in the optimizer a little bit chase at new england is interesting um price is up there New England, you know, is uh, Belichick going to try and take away Chase? Is he going to try and take away Mixon? What's Belichick going to do? Drake London um, got some decent uh, targets last week uh, with Ritter playing. Uh, price is good. Uh, I like Metcalf a, a lot because the target tree is narrowed down. And um, Jefferson, stud, what else can you say? All right, let's go have a look. So let's look at the teams that I built. We'll look at the top one that populated. Gino, Henry, Cook, Metcalf, Drake, Sh Shahid, Okonko, Sanders. I can't say Okonko, so let's call him Chig. So I can't pronounce last names. So Chig, um, Miles Sanders, and Ravens. Uh... Might be able to move a couple things around here. I'd like, if I was playing Sanders, I'd like, I'd probably want a Cowboy. So maybe you could use somebody on the Cowboy side, receiver, um, maybe. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, the team that I did like the most out of everything that populated was team number 18. Gino, Miles, McKinnon, Chase, Metcalf, Drake, Noah, and um, Elliot. So you got Elliot and Sanders in the same game. I don't mind it because um, they actually do catch a few passes here and there. Elliot, not not that much, um, but enough to be a, a, be okay. And then Sanders, I think we might see quite a few screens to Sanders this week um, without Hurts playing. So this would probably be my favorite one. And then we'll go over to the end just to see kind of James Cook. Uh, not about it. James Cook popping again here. Um, Allen rushes. Cook rushes. And Singletary rushes. So I know some people a couple weeks ago like James Cook, but uh, I don't like I don't like playing running backs where there's two other running backs who can score touchdowns. So that's just the way I play. Um, showdown, sure. James Cook, yeah, fine. Um, single with Terry gets hurt, absolutely. But when there's three in there, um, I don't want to play. That's just how I do things. 
Um, Sky Moore, I, ugh, I, with, if Hardman's back, Dart and GPPs, maybe. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Anyway, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's uh, see if we can get some Christmas cash on the table this week. And um, I'll see you guys uh, the week after this. But once again, like I said, Merry Christmas, everybody. Just a couple more weeks for the opto. Bye, guys. See ya.